Welcome to Chapter 2 of our story, where the sun sets in a golden hue over a village preparing for the Day of the Dead. The air is filled with the scent of marigolds, and the villagers are bustling with excitement. Yet, beneath the surface, a shadow looms, threatening to erase their cherished memories. Join us as we delve into this tale of courage and heritage. As the sun dipped below the horizon, Sophia stood at the edge of the village square, her heart racing with a mix of excitement and trepidation. Around her, the villagers prepared for the Day of the Dead, their laughter ringing like chimes in the evening breeze. Sophia's friends, Diego and Isabella, were deep in conversation, their faces illuminated by the flickering candles on the altars. Diego, with his tousled hair and mischievous grin, animatedly recounted a tale of his latest escapade, while Isabella, her long hair adorned with delicate flowers, listened intently. Sophia felt a surge of warmth at the sight of her friends, their spirits intertwined like the roots of the ancient trees surrounding the village. Sophia declared with a steady voice, We need to share our stories tonight. It's time we reclaim our heritage. Diego's eyes sparkled with mischief as he joked about telling the tale of his fountain escapade. But as laughter faded, a chill swept through the square. An ominous presence, the dark force, manifested as a swirling shadow, whispering doubts and fears. Sophia's heart raced with self-doubt. Could her friends truly follow her lead against the darkness? Isabella stepped forward, her voice soft yet firm. We must confront it together. Our stories are our strength. The children gathered, forming a circle, their hands clasped tightly, each heartbeat resonating with the pulse of the village. As the children began to share their tales, the spirit realm shimmered around them, swirling mist and echoes of laughter intertwining to create a tapestry of memories that transcended time. With each story told, the dark force recoiled, its shadow flickering like a candle in the wind. Sophia felt the warmth of her friends' voices envelop her, forming a protective barrier against the encroaching darkness. The realization washed over her like a wave. Their stories held the key to reclaiming their cultural identity and standing firm against the shadows that sought to erase them. Together, they would confront the darkness, armed with the power of their stories, ready to reclaim the legacy that was rightfully theirs.